Hi guys, it's me, Gastric Bypass Barbie, here with a review of a product that I found at the Expo West trade show in Anaheim. I don't know if you guys remember a couple weeks back, but I was really excited when I told you that I had found some great products for bariatric people. Well, one of them is called Betty Lou's Low Glycemic Designer Protein Shake. Now, I'm going to show you the cute little packets here. It's available in three wonderful flavors. Of course, we're all very familiar with vanilla and chocolate, but the one that piqued my curiosity at the show was the orange cream. Let me hold it like this. Orange cream, okay? Now, before I get into the taste or how you make it or anything else, let me tell you something very important about the product. It is a whey-based product, okay? So if you're allergic to whey, you don't wanna have this. It has 20 grams of protein per serving. And the thing I like about it is it is sugar, lactose, wheat, and gluten free. And that's kind of hard to find in a, a protein shake product. So that's really good news. And um, I have to put my glasses on so I can read the label for you. So here we go. Okay, bariatric surgery fixes your stomach, not your eyes. Alrighty guys, now in each of these serving sizes, what you do is you add eight to 10 ounces of water or milk or whatever you wanna add. This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. The broadcasters of your area, in voluntary cooperation with the FCC and other authorities, have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been instructed where to tune in your area for news and official information. And for that, you will get 180 calories. Now that's not too bad at all. Um, let's see here, 20 grams of protein, one fat gram, um, you get all kinds of um, uh, amino acids, which are really important because they help you break down the protein and it helps you process it in your system. And I'm looking for the sugar. As I recall, it's really, really low, but I can't find it on here. Oh, I know why. It's because it's zero grams. Zero grams of sugar. That's really good. And as I recall, it doesn't have any funky sweeteners in there or anything. If I find that it does, I'll put a little disclaimer on the screen. Anyway. So let me tell you how you make it and about the flavor and everything, okay? Um, you can just make it in a shaker where you just add your water or your milk and you shake it up in the little you know shaker ball thing. Or you could do it in your blender with ice. The way they were doing it at the show is they were doing it in one of those like Orange Julius machines. Do you guys remember those? So it's the kind that has the little dispenser and you, and you see the, the liquid foaming up in the top. Anyway, um, the orange cream flavor tasted just like an orange Julius. Oh my gosh, that brought back memories galore. Now, it the way that they were making it was not super foamy or frothy. It was sort of like an RTD that you'd get out of a can, and it wasn't overly strong. You know, it didn't have that hit you over the head, hey, I'm an orange protein shake. It was just really nice. It was a very light flavor, and yet it manages to fill you up. I don't know how it does that, probably the whey protein that's in it. Anyway, the way I make mine, because um, I'm never content to just add water, is I do use Almond Breeze. I use three quarters of a cup of Almond Breeze, plain, unsweetened, and I also put in a quarter cup of egg beaters, because that adds five grams of protein. And I put in, um, because I like texture, I put in wheat germ and a little bit of flaxseed meal, and then um, sometimes, just for fun, if I want a little more like creaminess, I will put in um, some pudding mix, some like instant pudding mix. So you could add cheesecake to it, and then it's kind of like orange cheesecake or um, vanilla, or you know, you could also, if you want it a little orangier, you could add sugar free orange jello mix to it, whatever. Um, I mean, it's perfectly fine just as it is, but like I said, I'm never content. I never leave things alone. I'm always adding junk. 
So um, I think the moral of the story is, oh, the neat thing is, it's available in little individual packets like this. So you know the big jumbo Mondo tubs that every time you throw in away, you feel like you're contributing to landfill mess or you wish you could make like a little drum in, you know, for preschoolers or something out of it. And you're like, there has to be like a, a hummingbird feeder or a pelican feeder or something I can make out of this. I feel so wasteful throwing the tubs away. You don't have to worry about that with this because it just has envelopes, okay? So individual serving sizes, very portable, love that. I would think you could probably take this on airplanes and not have a problem with it because it's prepackaged and it's sealed. Don't quote me on that. I don't work for the, what is the name of that place? The people, what do they call those? The, I don't know, the National Security whatever agency, uh. the NSA, I don't know, whatever it is. I don't work for those people. I don't look good in the uniform. Um, but I think it might work. And so if you do travel and stuff, look into it. What the heck? Betty Lou will love you for it. The other thing I like is that it's just made right here in the good old USA. And it is made right up the coast in Oregon, God's country. So I really like that. Oh, and I got to meet Betty Lou herself. Well, how often do you get to say that? You know, do you ever get to eat, to, to meet the way gourmet himself? Is there a way gourmet? I don't know. Or, or Mr. Jero? I don't know. But I got to meet Betty Lou, and she is adorable. So they did give me these samples uh, so that I could taste test them and review them for you. I did not pay for them, although I would. I know how to buy them. They are available. You can go on their website, which I'm going to include at the end of the show. And you can also buy it from Vitacost.com, one of my favorite places, because shipping is cheap. And probably a few other places, which I'll try to remember to add out to the side in the credits. So anyway, if you guys are looking for something different and you're getting burned out on the same old, same old protein, why not look up Betty Lou's? It's wonderful. It's available in chocolate and vanilla, your good old standards, but it's also available in orange cream. Think of a 50-50 bar or an orange Julie's drink in the mall. It'll make you feel warm and happy and fuzzy and healthy. And it's bariatrically friendly. Okay, that didn't come out at all. It's bariatrically friendly. What happens when I use rented lips and I just can't speak? Sorry, guys. Anyway, that's my review on Betty Lou's low glycemic. Oh, I forgot to tell you why it's important that it's low glycemic. Uh, okay, I have a little time to talk to you about it. Basically speaking, high glycemic foods are higher in sugars, but it's how the sugar gets processed in your system. And when you eat high glycemic things, you get hungry faster and it makes your blood sugars go up. But low glycemic takes longer to burn and it makes you feel sated or satiated or satisfied or hungry. I mean, not hungry for longer. It's much more satisfying. So you want to look for things that are low glycemic. Sugar. Hey guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. I have more information. It was right here on the label. Okay, back to the glasses. <clears throat> I said that it was sugar, lactose, and gluten-free, but I didn't tell you it's hormone-free, and I think that's very important. It has a digestive enzyme and probiotic blend. Remember those aminos I was talking about? Right there on the label. And it is from grass-fed cows, and it is, they're not treated with the hormones, you know, R, G, B, G, R, B, G, way too many letters in a row, I don't know, R, B, G, H. And remember I was telling you I didn't know how it was sweetened or whatever, but I was sure it was safe? Sucralose and aspartame-free, baby. So if you're trying to kick the Splenda to the curb like I am, this is your product. And it does instantly mix with cold water. That's what it says on the package. Absolutely true, although I use a blender. And, um, and it's perfect for glucose management, which is that um, glycemic index thing I was talking to you about for diabetics. So that's it for me, gang. Um, pick up a pack for yourself. Try it. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment right down here. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. I'm a Bobby girl in the Bobby world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. Party.